In this second episode of how to construct a house series, we are going to discuss the part of the house that is above the ground level. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, the Diary of a Lady Engineer. I am Nuta and a civil engineer by profession. If you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get new updates every single week. So ladies and gentlemen, as discussed last time, definitely we start with the foundation and after the foundation has been done, that is the walls have been raised and the backfilling has been done, we move on to the concrete slab. So the concrete slab is reinforced and the reason for reinforcing was already stated in the first episode of this series. One other thing not to forget when pouring concrete for the slab is damp proofing it. We use the damp proof membrane so as to avoid moisture from seeping through the floor. So once the pouring of concrete for the slab is done and curing by pouring water on it so as to achieve the desired strength, you start laying out individual rooms of the house by the use of blocks obviously. It's important to note that blocks are not the only materials you can use to construct a house. You can also use bricks, fun bricks, burnt bricks, or even wood. Ladies and gentlemen, it's in this stage of raising the walls above the ground that you have to take into consideration the sizes of the doors and windows as well as air vents if you're going to have any. You have to make sure that your brick layer is following the right dimensions that are shown in your plan because at this stage anything can happen your brick layer can leave maybe small windows than you want or bigger larger than expected windows so you really have to pay particular attention at this stage you know I'm emphasizing on you being so particular with your brick layers because some brick layers are very funny once you just tape out of sight once you just leave, they start doing things that they think should be done they stop following the instructions you give them they stop following what's written on their plans they just want to do their own things and knock off so you really have to pay particular attention because this is your house it's not anybody else's but yours and you are the one spending so you really have to to ensure that you are getting value for your money once you reach what is called the window level or the height of your door or height of your window you have to construct what is called a ring beam that is made out of concrete and obviously you know anything concrete has to be reinforced the reason for reinforcing please go and watch episode one so that you acquaint yourself with some of these things i don't want you to get lost along the way there are so many reasons for constructing a ring beam that we are going to touch on in the different video but one of them is to avoid sagging of walls and to also just generally improve the structural integrity of, of your house. Once the ring beam has cured, you will have to continue building with blocks up to what's called the wall plate where your roof is going to lay. We're going to talk about the roof in the next episode, but for now, I just want you to have a look at this short video of one of our projects. You know in Zambia, when one acquires a small piece of land, they first of all want to start by constructing a small house, a small caretaker's house, before they can embark on bigger projects like a dream house or even flats, which is very popular here in Zambia. Please do enjoy it. Hello, so this is me arriving from a place in Zambia to a place in Zambia where we're constructing this small two bedroom caretaker's house before we embark on constructing the flats. The reason why we're doing this is so as to have somebody who's going to be taking care of the building materials that are going to be procured. Or purchased I don't know which term to use 
okay so let's go into the building I want you to pay particular attention to the stages I was talking about in the video so if you carefully look down there there's this concrete slab then there's these walls I'm sure you can see the ring beam I talked about over there on top of the pillars that's a ring beam you can also see just above the windows and the doors so you've seen how nicely done the windows are and the doors as well as the air vents you have to make sure from time to time you go to your working site just so as to ensure that whatever is being done is the right thing you don't have to micromanage your bricklayers definitely because they are creative beings grown-up humans who also want some independence but you have to make sure that you are monitoring your project you don't have to go for long periods of time before you can come back and check on what's being done otherwise you will find something that you are not impressed with and you might have to start demolishing which is a very big cost on you dear ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this episode i hope it was informative please don't forget to like the video and leave down your comments so that we can learn from each other what we know about constructing houses see you next time